Hello, Guard here. Uh, the other day I picked up a Smith & Wesson 3913NL. The uh, originally had a 3913, the, the dust cover it was more straight, it didn't have this upturn to it, it came straight out. And then they came out with the 3913 Ladysmith, which looked like this pistol with the slope out here, the gray grips, uh, stainless steel upper uh, slide, and an aluminum lower. But it said Ladysmith on the side of the slide here. And uh, after that, they came out with the 3913 NL, which is, stood for either new look or, uh, as my wife calls it, the non Ladysmith model. But um, this is the, the NL version. And I really do like it. Uh, the pistol's empty right now. I'll drop the mag out. And just to verify, uh, there's nothing in the chamber. And uh, this pistol, it has a magazine disconnect. If the magazine's out, when you pull the trigger, the hammer won't drop. Magazine in, and it is empty. The hammer drops. The um, pistol, it's fairly lightweight, according to my little postal scale here. It weighs uh, one pound, eight point seven ounces. So it's twenty four point seven ounces empty, which is a nice weight. It's not the heaviest. It's not the lightest, but it's thin. It's very compact. As it's been said to be one of the greatest uh, concealment nine millimeters ever made. Of course, everybody says it about their guns, but that's just what I've read about it. Uh, I'll take it to the range. I'm a Glock person most of the time. But I'm looking forward to shooting it. I started to polish the slide. It it has a uh, stainless upper. It was kind of dull and kind of like oxidized. And I got some uh, mother's uh, mag and aluminum polish. And I've been working on cleaning up. It took about 15 minutes. Just it just took some of that haze off. It looks pretty nice. But to show you how to field strip it, drop the magazine out. Make sure it's empty. It is empty. And uh, you pull the slide back a little bit till this this notch aligns with this one right here, and pop out the slide stop. When the slide stops out, the slide comes off. Just slide it forward. Okay, and inside there's the operating uh, guide rod and spring. So make sure you capture that so it doesn't fly out across the room. And there's the um, recoil spring in the guide rod and pop lift the barrel up and pull the barrel out and that's pretty much the field stripping of it here's the lower receiver or the uh, actually the receiver <laughs> frame and it has a hammer block safety there's a little piece of metal in here when you put the safety on it rides up right here uh, let's put a light on there and it blocks the safety. You can see the firing pins now pretty much covered by that safety in there. When you roll that off, it exposes the firing pin. So that's the uh, safety. When you go to put it back together, it's pretty simple. You just reverse the process, put the uh, barrel inside the slide. Lock it to the rear, put your guide rod, your spring into the cup here, and pull the guide rod back. Make sure you click it on this, catch it on that little spot right there. And on the frame here, there's three little pieces right here. There's one right here, and then these two right here. Right there and there. Let's see, point them right there. One right here and right there. So when you put the slide on, you just slide it back in the rail. And when you get to this spot here, you have to push that one down and then reach over and push these other two down like that. And now the slide can come back. And on this hole right here, you can see the barrels kind of that lug right there. So you have to kind of pull back just a little bit to put the slide stop in. And it goes in just like that. Then you pull the slide 
all the way to the rear so this point lines up and push it in. Gun's empty. And there it is. That's the Smith & Wesson 3913NL. Looking forward to taking it out to the range and finishing my uh, polishing job up on it. Thanks for watching.